Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the fifth episode of the second season of Yakusoku no Neverland. And I'm a little bit late on reacting to this. I, I, I admit that. I actually didn't think people would even realize I hadn't reacted to it yet, but, but some people did. It's, and that didn't quite surprise me, but yeah, last episode we had a bit of an event, you know, our amazing, wonderful base, which looked like kind of the, the best possible base in existence. You know, it had like everything we could possibly want. It, it got, we got raided. We had to leave, you know. Who could have seen that coming? So now we're kind of in a bit of a pickle. You know, hopefully they didn't get too spoiled on that, too used to that cushy luxury environment because that's gone. We're not getting that back, so. And also, Isabel is probably going to try to find us. Like, she's, you know, talk she's talking to the demons and, you know, she's, pro she's probably going to try to get us too. So we have that whole thing to worry about, so... In a bit of a pickle, you know, there's also the two demons that are kind of weird, you know, in the in the wilderness. Like, that's a thing that we got to keep on our mind, too. And just other random things that probably want to kill us. It's, it's a bit of a rough spot we're in, honestly. So, hopefully things can work out, though. So, yeah, let's dive on in and see how things go. So, three, two, one, play. Bum, 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 bum. Open it. <laughs> Bunny is served. Who's hungry? This opening never gets any less unsettling. Like, there are just several concerning visuals here. Still love this part. The face-off. Just so damn cool. He really makes you feel that human versus demon struggle, you know. Yeah, them walking into the light like that is probably the only like positive visual in the opening, like hopeful visual. But of course, even that can be taken in a negative way, like you know, dying is sometimes referred to going into the light, you know. So, yeah, that's the opening for you. Uh, what am I looking at? Huh, it seems like we're in like a town or something. Probably a demon town. We're just gonna see demons like daily life here, maybe? I, yeah, I think so, that's... We haven't, we haven't got that before, so that's pretty cool. I really peek at their culture. So all we've seen is like the evil council meetings and stuff. And discussions on what to do with the humans. Oh, that visual again. <laughs> yeah, this- oh god, are those just like limbs in a bottle? Oh, he just, like, bought a hand. Uh. <laughs> I mean, man, if random people start to, random demons want to, like, try to find them, that's, that just makes things so much worse. Fly, birdies. Uh, 
What exactly are we leading to? <laughs> Medical herb, medicinal herbs. I, I can read. <laughs> kind of. Is he gonna take over? So dirty. I mean, understandably. So what exactly is happening. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. Um, okay. I didn't expect that. Uh. So this is what they're doing currently. I was really confused for a few seconds. Several seconds. I'm glad you guys can still laugh. I mean, I can't really. Hey, welcome back, Emma. We missed you. Yeah, there's like a whole 30. Itadakimasu. Even though that line in this show's context still traumatizes me. I... I hope so. <laughs> That's a good thing. You know, you saying that does not really make me think it. Kind of the opposite. I mean, no news is good news. <clears throat> it's only a matter of time before we get found again. But yeah, I bet we're really missing that shelter. Missing hot baths and whatnot. Probably not all of us. Just like in shows like The Walking Dead, you know, you'll lose people over time, but eventually you'll get where you want to, where you're, where you're going. What exactly is that back there? Like the purple... You're just, you're putting way too much stuff on your shoulders, Emma. Well, 
Like, yeah, these people are alive right now because of you. Yeah, nobody was dragged kicking and screaming over here, you know. It really shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. It's just painful for me to watch. I'm glad Ray was able to kind of help there. Really could use Norman. You know, he would have been great in that kind of situation. I really don't think you should do that. If they go, they're going to die. Uh, let's not. We're going to regret this. Uh, what exactly is happening? Is the Shogun trying to j make me jump? Is that like a cane? It's actually really terrifying. Um... Is this man blind? Cause that... Evil blooded temple. Well, we got a better look at that there. Yeah, it is just a statue. Uh, yeah, don't do anything stupid is all I'm gonna say. Mm. Emma. A little bit too close for comfort for my liking. I was about to say, like, couldn't he just smell them? Smell that delicious human flesh? I, I kind of can't breathe right now. Yeah, we're, yeah. Like, You know, we should probably leave now. I hope so too. Oh, <laughs> that laugh. Uh, I think I can breathe again. <sighs> Do 
Yeah, she's just such a nice, helpful girl. <sighs> Six months. He will chomp on us. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice if they ate stuff other than us. Yeah, more so than any other episode, this has humanized the demons. What is that? You're gonna try to catch him? I mean, how good is a reward? Couldn't you just buy some meat with that? I mean, maybe not the highest level of it, but... Because, yeah, I think about the reward is it would have to be really good to actually, you know, make a demon want to give them up rather than just eat them. Right? Well, nobody's died yet. Let's not. Okay, I just had to open up my mouth. <sighs> you wanted to go to a marketplace full of people that would love to eat you. Great idea, guys. Let's, uh, and all it takes is one mask getting knocked off to just be swarmed. Like, this is so incredibly dangerous. I cannot believe anyone would volunteer to come here in this situation. Yeah, let's draw some attention to ourselves. What's wrong is you are my as a predator. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it is meat. I mean, it's fish. Yeah, maybe it's over there in that direction. <laughs> Uh, uh, like, can we really outrun them? I just hope we learned a lesson about bringing the small children with us to do this. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> 
<sighs> this episode has been so stressful to watch. I... <sighs> Roof tarp button is cool though. It's kind of hard to tell who's who sometimes because they're all disguised and running around. <laughs> I don't know what he's looking at us. Uh -huh. Oh no. Uh, Dumbass. You're not gonna fit through there. Uh. Um. Okay, this is really bad. Could you leave us alone, please? We we did nothing wrong. Oh, uh, damn. Well, that got him. Um, so I guess it's one problem dealt with, but one is not. Oh wait, was that well, that wasn't that wasn't Norman's voice, was it? Was it? Yes, it was. That was totally Norman. Oh my God, we found him. I wow. What are the what are the odds of that? Because I hadn't heard his voice in a while, so I wasn't sure if it was him. But then he appeared on screen, and then life was better. Oh, I cannot believe how much much I missed that boy. Like I just I feel much better with him being a part of our group. And nobody died, you know? Well, nobody we cared about died. I don't know where those two guys died, but... I just I feel, I almost kind of felt like there was... They were building up to foreshadowing some death just with some of the lines they had in the episode. Like, some line about it's been six months and nothing's happened, or... I'm paraphrasing. The line was something like that. And then these two kids suddenly wanted to do something incredibly dangerous that they shouldn't do, and then we reluctantly agree to it. Like, it just... I was expecting somebody to die. I mean, it still could happen, but... It just didn't happen this episode. In fact, we gained a person, Norman, so... And episode ended. That was the fifth episode of the second season of Yaksoko no Neverland. And yeah, this episode, more something we haven't gotten any episode we got in this episode, which is a real look at an actual functioning demon town, you know? Like all we like I said, all we've gotten so far has been pretty much like people that have been in charge of the farms and their discussions about things, getting that high quality meat and the offerings and stuff, like that that kind of stuff, right? We haven't, like, seen the common folk, right? People that are just, you know, live in the shop, you know, shopping district, making, just trying to get by, probably rarely get, you know, good human meats. Like, because <clears throat> they have apples and stuff, like, right? so I guess they can eat more than just meat, but they need, uh, probably need at least some amount of meat for that nutritional value. Like, I don't know exactly, I don't know exactly the demon biology, but the, the meat's important to them. That's, that's certainly something we got from the episode. But it seems like they can eat other stuff, from what I can tell. So, yeah, that's, not not sure to think of that. Like, 
how long like how long could they survive just eating non-human meats like i'm curious about that but anyway the uh yeah the beginning confused me a little bit because we see the kids but then we see like demons walking in there as well and like this is like a new area that we haven't even seen before so it, this is apparently the new hideout so I just i was really taking in a lot of this stuff and a little bit confused but once they took off the the mask and stuff a lot pretty much just clicked in my head immediately so it all just kind of made sense this is where we made our our hideout and we're just kind of occasionally go to that demon city to scavenge for food i guess as best we can and it's extremely dangerous because, like I said, all it takes is one mask getting knocked off and... Hey, you're a human! It's lunchtime! Then just bite a leg. Like, that would be absolutely terrifying. It's like... It would be like swimming in the water with a bunch of sharks without any protection. I know some people do that, but... Like, it's, it's like that, you know? The closest comparison I can really make. It's just very stressful. It's like you're just wearing a shark suit and you're hoping they don't notice. You know, that kind of thing. So, and yeah, apparently there's a very old blind demon that comes here, and because he's blind, he doesn't notice that we're humans. However, the one thing that confuses me about that is that he's clearly sniffing. We see him sniff a couple times, and later in the episode, it confirmed that they can definitely smell that delicious human aroma, right? And they smell that outside in an environment with a bunch of other stuff and stuff. This is an indoor environment with several humans, and you pretty much know the smell about them and, you know, his smell, which of course he would be used to. There's no way he doesn't know that he's surrounded by humans right there, right? But... It didn't, it didn't seem like that though, but I don't know. It just it's just hard for me to imagine that he didn't he was unaware with how much sniffing we saw, and how later on they demonstrated that they can be sniffed out. So yeah, I wonder if he's just pretending for their sake. I don't know, but that's something that's certainly interesting. So certainly curious about for sure. But man, it was a stressful scene. Emma going over there to give him the apples, getting that close, where he definitely smelled her if she's that close. So, I don't know. Like, that one look, well, one look in Emma's face was really funny. Like, at uh, 12 minutes and 46 seconds, like, that was a great face. I don't know how to describe it. Like, partially fear, part, part, of a, couple, part, part of a couple of other things. But, yeah, I, I quite like that face. Yeah, but that was stressful to watch. And then we have this one family over here. Oh, I definitely want to take another look at this scene. Because you have these two guys. And I guess their little sister who's uh needs help, right? Needs some of that needs some of that human meat to make her feel better, I guess. You know, she seemed nice enough. The other one though looked very different, like didn't even look really humanoid, just like one big eye and four limbs. Like, what even is that? Because well, for the most part, the you know, demons we see around here look pretty humanoid. Even the girl next to him on the bed looked, you know, fairly humanoid, but it's just like, like a freaking blob. Like, I don't know. That's just really weird. But anyway, yeah, they they were hoping to get some of that human meat, but yeah, we're kind of hoping they don't, you know, because that's that would be terrible, right? And then we yeah, began our big old chase because, yeah, they the two, the two two kids we brought with us just got bumped into, and that brings attention to them, and then they start smelling them, and then, yeah, the jig's kind of up at that point. <laughs> Luckily, they were the only ones that noticed. If everyone noticed, then there would be no escaping. So, luckily we escaped, and we actually met up with Norman later on, but Norman seemed to be, like, with some people, so are those, like, actual people or demons he's friends with? Like, I'm very curious about that. Like, I really just want to know what happened to Norman after we separated from him, because, you know, we saw the last scene and we saw him, like, smiling or something, I think was the last bit we saw, so obviously there was something positive there, but we don't know quite, quite what. Was that some... Did that somehow connect him to a human resistance that he's now a part of and he's gonna be the, the link that connects us to it as well so we can join up with some big old human group and because that can be the next stage of things i don't know i just the last thing we saw was norman's face and i feel better because of it you know man we could just man there's so much to talk about with norman like we could really have a really good conversation next episode if we have a chance to which I imagine we will. We'll either take him back to our place or he'll take us to his place and we could talk talk about some stuff. There's so much to talk about, so much I would love to hear from him. Like I could have an entire episode of just Norman talking to us, you know, and I would be satisfied. So Yeah, that was the episode. You know? I really hyped for next episode to see how things go. And 
yeah, what a time to have a recap episode, but so yeah, that's all I got to say. Really good stuff. Look forward to how things go next. So see you then, maybe. Bye bye. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.